Hello, the Senpai Goat here. For today's quick little tutorial, I'll be showing everyone how to create buttons that light up. So for these text buttons, whenever I scroll over them, they will light up and then they will de-highlight. So how do we do this? It's going to be really simple, really quick. There's no coding involved whatsoever, except for whatever you want the buttons to actually do. So I'm going to create a new scene really quickly. So here is the new scene. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to delete this directional light as I do not need it in the scene. I'm going to hit 2D right up here. And then I'm going to create a background. So I'm just going to go to UI. I'm going to go to image and make sure that it is uh, lined up. So I'm just going to actually go 0, 0. I'm going to turn it black. Now I'm just going to make it the size of my viewport, which is 600 by 900. Uh, and that is my game size, which is right here. I'm actually just going to make sure that it stretches to the sides. So when I actually hit play, it will actually fill out the whole view. I do like to keep everything organized. So I'm just going to name this the background. Just make sure that's a cap, just because I like to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a button. So I'm just going to uh, right click. I'm going to go to UI and I'm going to go to button. I don't actually need an image so I can actually turn that off. And the button is a bit dark at the moment, which is fine. I'm going to actually make the text say whatever I would like it to say. So if we go to the text here, I'm going to put, uh, let's just put new game. I'm also going to rename this new game button. And then if you want, you can actually highlight it or not. So I'm just going to actually add a outline. Just go to the color here, text, and make sure that it is white. So that it pops up nice and beautiful here in the view. So let's go into how to actually make it light up. And this is the easy way. It's just uh, where, right here you have the button image. We're just going to grab this text and we're going to just drag and drop that in here. So new game button is now the text. Our normal color here is a bit, it's, it's pretty white. So we want to actually bring that down. So I'm just going to go 185, 185 and 185 to actually make it gray. I can actually close that. Now if I hit play and I scroll over, it will now light up white. And that's because we have over here at the side, we have the highlighted color as white. And you can make it whatever color you want. Red, blue, yellow, green. And then you have a press color, so you can actually change that to be a bit more darker than white or darker than uh, what we have. I have it a little bit lighter than that, uh, which I think is all right. But that's basically how you make a button text that will highlight whenever you go and scroll over it. And then from there, all you need to do is just create whatever script you want and then add it in. So if I, uh, if this was called credits instead of new game, I actually have a credit script, which is really simple. All you're doing is using like unity engine dot scene management and then scene manager dot load scene. And then I'm loading the credit scene. So if this was actually credits, then all I would do is simply just add that, uh, script on here. Grab the button object here, and then I would simply just go to credits and then put uh, whichever uh, the function, so it's called go to credits, which is right here. Go to credits. And now you'd have your working button. So if you're actually loading a new game, so then here we are, we're at the credits menu. And that's how easy it is to actually make a button highlight whenever you scroll over it and have the text. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.